man, we have some amazing news. Oh, we have our scalper, Reggie Fisa, man! OB1 plays? Yes, right, what's up? All oh, right. OB1 plays? going on everybody how are y'all doing i know it's been a couple days since i did a video a live stream anything on my channel super duper busy but we have some amazing amazing nintendo switch news i have to talk about in one epic video so before we get started give the video a huge gigantic thumbs up let's destroy destroy this like button let's get over a hundred likes we could do that easily but let's get right to the news see this game right here bayonetta what if i tell you bayonetta's about to be a first party nintendo ip that's right the breaking news is it looks like Nintendo is about to buy or acquire Platinum Games, which is crazy. Two sources I want to share. First one comes off of Twitter via Nibble at Nibelion. He's legit. He's had some um, right stuff um, um, leaked in the past. Nintendo, this is what he's saying. Nintendo is in talks to acquire Platinum Games for an undisclosed amount. And then, this is coming straight from the CEO of Platinum Games. In an article, he was, um, what's his name? Inaba, Inaba, um, the, the, the CEO of Platinum Games, Atushi Inaba. He was interviewed, and this is his exact quote. Well, obvious, obviously, Yaman didn't leave Nintendo on bad terms at all and this partnership that we have with Nintendo is very important to us right now and will be moving forward. I think that Yamane-san joining us here, Platinum Games can definitely build an even stronger relationship with Nintendo moving forward. An even stronger relationship. That can only be a positive thing for Platinum Games. So yeah, we're very glad to have Nintendo on board. Now, one of my sponsors, shout out to Clem. I know he's watching this video. He did point out um, in our um, gaming Discord. By the way, you want to join a dope gaming Discord, become a sponsor. Links in the description, yada, yada, yada. But he pointed out in our Discord that Xbox is trying to buy up Jap Japan Studios. So I can imagine Nintendo caught wind of Microsoft um, trying to acquire studios. Platinum Games would be a prime studio to acquire. Nintendo's like, hold on, <laughs> not so fast, homeboy. And so Microsoft could have possibly inadvertently put pressure on Nintendo to seal the deal with Platinum Games. This is a dope acquisition. If it finally comes to light and comes true, um, Platinum, bro, this Bayonetta gameplay of this new character, Bayonetta 3 is going to be fire, bro. Um, Platinum Games, Platinum Games, look like it's about to be acquired by Nintendo, which is huge. But we have a couple more Nintendo news items for this video. The Nintendo Switch firmware has received an update, update 15 Point zero, point zero. Usually, when it's a whole number, no decimals after the um, um, uh, the period, decimal point, no numbers after the decimal point, it's a big update. But the details say the location of the Bluetooth audio manual within the system settings has moved. Screenshots can be taken using the capture button while in the Nintendo Switch online application found on the Nintendo Switch home menu. I have a video capture of Nightport. So you can take screenshots of the eShop. 
Mm. And general system stability improvements to enhance the user experience. So your switch should have updated if you're having a sleep mode and those settings on to update while in sleep mode. Um, to update 15.0. I don't think it's worth doing a, a, a tour because there's nothing like major. Like if it was voice chat now on the switch, that'll be different. But your Nintendo Switch did receive a pretty, pretty significant update. This next news item is so epic. Where my Splatoon fans at? We finally have the Splatoon 3 Amiibo launch dates. That's right. Splatoon 3 Amiibo will be available November 11th. November 11th. Put that day on your calendar. I have to pick up all three. So Splatoon 3 Amiibo. Let's see if this and this they launched an all new trailer just for the Splatoon 3 Amiibo date. Uh, let's see where they are. There they go, right there. They all look fire, bro. Uh, the Octolink has the 96 gal. Man, I've been grinding so much on NBA 2K. I really uh, uh, still, still Splatoon, Splatoon. I need to get back on my Splatoon grind. I gotta unlock. I need that 96 gal in my life. I think it still has the sprinkler sub weapon too. So Splatoon 3 Amiibo. Um, the release date, November 11th, November 11th, dope, dope, dope stuff. Now, this news happened a couple of days ago, but like I said, I haven't been doing um, videos on the channel in a, in a minute, not in a minute, in a couple of days, but I think this is dope. Don't sleep on this game. This game was overshadowed by Mario 64. This is one of the launch titles on the um, Nintendo 64, but it came out. A long, wait, was it? The Super Nintendo Pilot Links launched. Maybe it didn't, maybe it didn't, I forget. But Mario 64 overshadowed this game, nevertheless. Pilot Wing 64 will be coming to Nintendo Switch online services on October 13th. In two days, in two days, we'll be able to play some Pilot Wings. This is more like a casual game. It isn't like a intense adventure type game. Tour of the Island do various um, mini games, but I heard it is a dope game, dope game. I never, never played Pilot Wing 64. So, Pilot Wing 64 um, has been announced. I like the additions that Nintendo's rolling out. No sign to GameCube games. I'm thinking GameCube games are gonna come when that Switch Plus, Switch Pro comes, man. That's just. A gut feeling, a gut feeling that I have. All right, and we do have one more dope, dope, dope Nintendo Switch news item. Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope. An official launch cinematic trailer has been revealed, and it looks epic. October is going to be a solid, solid month for Switch owners. So... Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Look at Mario twirling them. <laughs> October 20th. October 20th is the launch date for Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope. I've said it before. The first game was dope. The second game looks like is going to continue to take it to higher heights. So those are the news items for this video, bro. That Platinum Games acquisition. Microsoft has just put pressure on everybody. To start buying studios now, bro. Um, we noticed Sony's been announcing more studio acquisitions. Now Nintendo has been forced their hand. I think it's just a matter of they don't want Microsoft to get platinum games. It's that simple. All right. Those are the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we out boy this channel that i'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when i had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers man and um he's probably gonna lose shit when i do this but hey man i gotta say my boy ob1 my boy ob1 man that nigga is my nigga right there he reminds me exactly of me when i was doing this
smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip. And he has a really cool audience too. Man, if you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them. A lot. A lot. I'm picky with that. Um, anyways, my boy Obi Wan, your boy Obi Wan. Hey man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master the right Jedi Obi Master. <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two times. I got you, homie. Dedicating a workout set. <laughs> you, my boy. Let's go, guys. Four, 25. 26, 27, 28. Ah, he said, "Hey, no, Dad." 